Hey everybody, this is Captain Kyle. I'm Maiden. And I'm Peepocalypse. And this video is tips about attending Dragon Con, which is a con unlike a lot of the ones you might be used to. It's an intense yet fun con that runs for five days, nonstop in five host hotels. Whether this is your first time or your 10th, you'll find a good tip in this video. So the first thing you might want to know is where do you get your badge? A lot of people have confusion when they get there because there are five hotels. It's in the Sheraton Hotel on the first floor down the corner of Andrew Young International Boulevard and Cortland Avenue. When you arrive, there will be volunteers to show you what line to get into and it will be outside. So wear sunscreen. There are five host hotels for Dragon Con. The Marriott, the Hyatt, the Hilton, the Weston, and the Sheraton. And they all have different functions. The Marriott is the biggest, so the most events go on. Now, there's a lot of ways to get around the con. There's sky bridges and escalators and elevators, but in the Marriott, you kind of want to avoid the elevators unless you're staying there. If you really want to see the view from the 40 plus stories of the Marriott down to the three atrium levels, I would recommend doing that on Wednesday or Thursday, because if you go Friday, Saturday or Sunday, you're going to be in a long wait just to get all the way up there. And there's a lot of people staying at the hotel who really need to get to their rooms. With likely over 70,000 people in attendance at this year's Dragon Con, there are going to be a lot of people using all of the escalators in all of the hotels. When you're using the escalators, make sure you get on, get off, and get out of the way so you don't get in the way, cause a pileup, or get in trouble with security. Also, please refrain from taking photos in front of the escalators. So there are events in all five hotels, plus there's the vendor area over at America's Mart. So you're going to be moving from building to building. There are some sky bridges that allow you to go from some hotels to other hotels and buildings without going outside. If you use these, just get in them, go through and get out the other side without stopping. Don't take pictures, don't stop to chat with a friend, and you'll be fine. People will be watching. Now we're going to talk about Marta. Why did you say that name? Marta, not Martha. Oh, sorry. Anyway. MARTA is the main public transportation source for the city of Atlanta. If you're staying at a hotel near the convention centers, it's only a $5 round trip ticket from the airport to Peachtree Center. If you're staying at a hotel along the MARTA route, it's $19 for a four day ticket or $23.75 for seven days. We're not gonna sugarcoat it. Dragon Con is a party con. So there's a lot of alcohol involved after hours. It goes on 24 seven and at night, Pretty much everybody is drinking. So, especially if you're a woman, you really wanna be careful with what you're drinking and who you're taking it from. You're gonna make a lot of friends and they're likely gonna offer you alcohol in their rooms or other. And you just wanna make sure that you're being safe about the decisions you make on whose alcohol you drink and when you drink it and where you drink it. That being said, if you wanna drink at Dragon Con, it can be kind of expensive. There are a few bars inside the Marriott and other hotels but they definitely jack up their prices for this convention, as does the liquor store that is conveniently located around the Sheraton. So you might want to bring your own alcohol. If you're driving in, bring as much as you want. But if you're flying in like I am, you can bring up to two bottles on your flight. But make sure you're checking your airline and figuring out how much you can exactly bring on each flight. Me and my friends will be bringing as much as we possibly can, and we'll probably be pretty set for the con. So there's a lot of great panels at Dragon Con that you might want to attend. My first year, I think I planned five or six a day that I was gonna go to. I think I made it to three the whole con because I didn't take into account things like travel time from one hotel to another. For some of these more popular panels, people line up an hour or more in advance. And these lines can actually go outside and around the building. So be sure to keep that in mind as far as having something to drink and sunscreen and just standing for an extended period but with some planning you can definitely see the panels you want to check out one fact about dragon con is that catching con crud is pretty hard to avoid but there are things you can do to prevent it make sure you're eating well drinking a lot of water and getting as much sleep as you can without missing out on anything you could also take vitamin c supplements if those help you if you are already sick and planning to attend the con please wash your hands frequently, cover your coughs and sneezes, 
don't share drinks with anyone, and try to avoid talking into their face. There are a lot of different people at DragonCon, and some of those people need service animals. So if you see a dog, that dog should be invisible to you. There has been a lot of problems with people pointing out animals, drawing attention to animals, or even going up and petting animals without permission at DragonCon and other big conventions. And this can prevent the person who needs the animal from detecting a seizure or a heart problem or collapsing or not knowing where to go if they can't see. So you really need to keep that in mind and to ignore the animal that you see. If you even point it out to a friend, you might be distracting the animal from their job. You're here to enjoy a convention and that dog is here to work. They're not here for you. So please be respectful. A great tool for enhancing your Dragon Con experience is the official Dragon Con app. This is usually released a month or so before the con and it has schedules, maps, you can add friends on there, and it's just a great way to keep track of everything you're doing. You can create schedules, you can tell where your friends have checked in, and it's basically the convention guide all on your phone. So the parade on Saturday is one of the largest parts of Dragon Con, and it's not just for the attendees, but people come from throughout Atlanta and beyond to check this out. So if you want to get a good view of it, you might want to get there a bit early. If you're not interested in watching the parade, that's fine, but they will be blocking off a lot of streets, so you're gonna wanna get to where you wanna go early. But it might be a good time to get pictures done or get stuff done that normally would be way too crowded. So, at the con, you're gonna need to fill your belly, but as the alcohol is jacked up, so is the food. So eating inside the con or the hotels can be quite expensive, but there's a couple places you can go. There is a lovely sausage stand that stays open all night and he makes the best sausages and hot dogs. So make sure you check him out. There's also the Metro Cafe Diner, which is also open 24 seven and they have a really good Salmon Alfredo, and that is on Andrew Young International Boulevard. So definitely check that out. There's also a Hooters and a Hard Rock Cafe if you would like to eat there. And but sushi. And sushi. The sushi place also has a really good lunch special that is on Thursday and Friday of the con, so make sure you check it out. But if you want to see super cheap, make sure that you visit a grocery store or pack some granola bars or oatmeal or anything that can be made easily in a hotel so that you can keep yourself fed and energized for the con. So while you're at the con, you may need some supplies, soda, candy, aspirin if you have a headache, Tums, condoms, all kinds of things. And there is a CVS conveniently located on Peachtree Street, right in the heart of where the convention is. There are also a number of other attractions if you want to check them out. There's the aquarium, which they also have a night of the aquarium through the convention. There's the Coca-Cola factory if you want to check that out. And there's the CNN Center if you want to go over there. And they have a big food court and places you can sit with Rick and Morty. Now there are going to be a lot of cosplayers at Dragon Con and you will likely want to take pictures of them. Obviously, ask permission first, but also if they are eating in line for a bathroom, if they're sitting down or just look like they're in a hurry to get somewhere, please refrain from asking them at that time. So as we mentioned before, there's gonna be a lot of great cosplay and you might be one of those great cosplayers. Now, keep in mind, it's Labor Day in Atlanta. It's gonna be very hot. So if you have a big, bulky costume, you gotta make sure that you hydrate, you take breaks because you could very easily overheat in that thing. Plus your vision could be obscured. You could have very large appendages and attachments. You could have very large props. One thing that's very good for those types of cosplayers are handlers. Make sure you have at least one person who can make sure that people don't run into you, damaging your costume, hurting themselves, hurting you. Just having someone there when you're in such a bulky costume is an immense help. So unfortunately, it's time to talk about some less fun things about cosplaying and cons. So as a woman, there have been situations that I've been in that have been less than ideal at cons. If you're wearing like a sexier cosplay or even just regular cosplay, 
Sometimes people just get a little bit handsy or unwanted situations can happen. One Dragon Con, I was walking with a friend and it was broad daylight and she suddenly pulled me into a Dunkin' Donuts and was like, let's just get coffee. And I was like, okay, whatever. So we go in and she's like, we've actually been being followed for a couple of blocks. And we had to call a guy friend from one of our hotels that we were trying to travel to and he had to come down. The guy waited outside for us. He wasn't there when our friend eventually arrived, but it was really scary situation because what would have happened if we kept going and unfortunately the situation isn't a rare situation this happens so just make sure that you're watching your drinks you're watching yourself if you're walking back at night which many of us have to do just please make sure you're walking in a group don't travel alone hopefully society will change but right now we just have to make sure there's safety and just stay with friends so we hope these tips help you have a great time at Dragon Con. They are not all inclusive, so if you think of something that we missed, please put it in the comments below. If you see us at Dragon Con, please shout us out. We would love to take your picture in your cosplay. So please, we'll give you credit. We'll throw you into our gallery. It'll be awesome. We'll be there all weekend doing coverage of the convention since there might be things you miss out on. Cause there's just so much so going much. on. There's so much. Why, Five so hotels, good. people. Five hotels. It's so good. It's so good. So good. <laughs> <laughs> so don't forget to subscribe as well to our channel. We have lots of coverage coming up from Dragon Con and other cons, costume reviews, all kinds of stuff. And don't forget to ring that bell for notifications. And as always, have fun and, and follow, follow your, your fandom. fandom.